Yeah, it was Falcon tournament. Yeah, what a fisher. <laughs> I caught 82 pounds and finished 20th place. That doesn't happen too often. And uh, yeah, I guess I really, I'll be honest with you, I missed the boat as far as the, the bite of the big fish. I mean, catching them on the outside uh, you know, ledges and humps and the lower end of the lake, deep water. Uh, I was up on the upper end of the lake and I, I thought what I found was pretty decent, and which was flipping. And I was flipping the biggest plastics, biggest jigs I could find with 80 pound uh, spider wire and just flipping the tree and full on war. I mean, that was the most incredible combat fishing I've ever experienced. But the wind blew really hard in one of the, uh, the second day of the tournament and it pushed a lot of the fish out of the trees and I actually stumbled across a spot on the second day of the competition. I found this rock ledge with a couple bushes on top because I went up to flip the bushes, but there's like three and four waves on, three or four foot waves on it, and I couldn't fish it real good. But I thought about it that night. It's like you know what, that spot's kind of ideal. So I went back there day three of the tournament, and not knowing how everything laid out, I picked up the flat CB D20, and my first fish was a five, my second fish was a six, my third fish was a five. I caught another five. I lost a six. Uh, yeah, I had 28 pounds that final day and the majority of the fish came off that flat CBD 20 and it was pretty cool. I was throwing on 30 pound test, braided line, the spider wire on my seven and a half foot glass rod and when them six pounders eat it, it's like they want to jerk the whole rod out of your hand. It was pretty cool, but it, it got you a little nervous having them big ones eat a crankbait and jumping, cartwheeling out of there, but uh, so it, it helped propel me and moved me up a few more spots and had me a good tournament so I can't complain about that.